Good morning all. Low prices on Ozito tools at home base. Um, that's if you can call a cordless work lighter a tool. Yeah, I guess it's a tool, isn't it? Now I get the impression that these have been recently reduced in price because this is priced at eight pounds. And uh, if you look on the internet, there's plenty of people selling this for at least double that. And in fact, there are some eBay sellers trying to charge 40 quid for this. Well, not anymore, guys. So I bought this in response to uh, an offer uh, by any power exchange tool and uh, get the power exchange battery pack with charger, one of each battery and charger, half price. So this was down to £52, I think. So that's me well and truly invested in the Azito Power Exchange range. I hope there isn't a leaflet in here showing all the tools because it's the psychology of I want to collect all of those. Very dangerous psychology. Okay, let's open it up. There's a bit of a bulge in here, so perhaps I get more for my money. So I'm not quite sure why that wasn't packed very effectively. Okay, work light and gubbins. Now is there one of those leaflets? No, it just seems like there's the manual. No leaflet to try and encourage me to buy every single tool in the power exchange range. Now when I bought this in order to get that deal on the battery pack, thinking this was the cheapest tool they do, I hadn't spotted this, the USB power station, but I'll come back to that in another video. This one is about this light. I'm going to power it on only appears to have three LEDs, even though it has six dimples on there. Hmm. Is that an on-off switch? Yes, it feels like an on-off switch. I mean, it feels like a latching and unlatching switch. I can't remember what they're called. Oh, no, I see what this is. Look, this is really cool. You've got different lenses on the front here. You've got um, sort of light magnifiers when you're in this setting. And then when you turn it around, it actually puts a different set of lenses in front of the LEDs to give you a more directional beam. That's like how the old TV cameras used to work. They had, um, what was it? Um, what was that thing called? The mount where they had different lenses. Yes, is it a lens turret where you can turn the, uh, the turret around and get different lenses in front of your sensor? Well, this has got different lenses in front of the LEDs. That's awesome. I've never seen that before. I really like that. So apart from the turret lens system and the on off switch, what else have we got? Well, we've got a multi angle uh, battery connector. There are the positive and negative connections that go into the battery multi step. Let's take a look at this uh, label. So we've got ISC GmbH Germany, but it's made in China brackets. Oh, one. That's the first China, obviously. OK, let's try this thing on an Ozito battery. This is the uh, 2 amp power, 18 volt, two red LEDs there. This slides on. Oh, it's on. Off, on. So how does this directional thing work? That's uh, one of the settings. And if I turn the turret, oh yeah, it's a little bit more directional. That's the wide angle beam. That's the narrow beam. It's not a lot of difference, is there? So this very basic three LED light. Let's uh, take it off the battery <laughs> that way. And what have we got in terms of screws? Oh, just regular uh, Phillips or PosiDrive screws. So let's take it apart. The battery has Torx screws, but they don't have the little pip in the middle, so they're not the uh, Tamper proof talks. Uh, what have we got here just to whet your appetite? Plus, minus, NTC, negative temperature coefficient, not connected, and an ID pin. Is there anything in there? Hmm, doesn't look like it. So, if you would like me to take the batteries apart, and well, obviously, I am going to take the batteries apart at some point because I want to see what uh, cells they have in them, let me know in the comments. But it's a foregone conclusion, really, isn't it? So six screws out, that's still clicking. This is coming apart, but not entirely yet. I shall have to keep working on that. It's very cheaply made this. You, there's lots of um, 
flashing on the red plastic. There's flashing actually on the rubber overmold as well. I mean, it's nice to have the rubber rubber overmold, but uh, yes, this is not a beautifully made injection molding. All right, well, it seems, because it doesn't want to come apart, that there's got to be something in these ends. So I'm just trying to dig out these circular caps in the ends of the hinge. Nothing in the right hand one apart from a big R. What's under this one? Oh, there's nothing in there either apart from an L. So that was a waste of time taking those out. Oh, I think I see how this is working. There are some screw holes in here. Yes, I think it's necessary to separate the two halves of the base because clearly the wires run through this clicky hinge thing and onto these connectors but yeah it looks like this um, base has to be split in half let's do that aha uh -huh, the mm, R side appears to be ooh, what was that that shot onto the floor but that's come out and Oh, wires everywhere. Ah, well this is going to be fun to put back together. There was a spring down inside here that obviously does the detents as you click it round and there are some, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this, but there are some little indentations here. And there's a little ball bearing there as well. That had fallen on the floor. Ah. Oh my goodness, so another spring, another ball bearing on the other side, another clicky detented, you can just about see them there, on the other side, but it is now apart. We have a circuit board and there's an inductor on there. There's also four diodes, so are they in a bridge configuration? And if so, why? And we have the two pin connector just see if I can get this apart so yeah this is interesting we've got uh, power from the connector here goes through the uh, on off switch and arrives back at these two connections here and they do indeed go through a four diode um, bridge rectifier so we've got plus going through these two diodes can we see the markings on those yep they're in opposite directions negative to these two diodes let me just get that backlit and then that arrives at this capacitor, runs into the rest of the circuit. We've got a little controller chip here. It's almost certainly an LED driver chip, constant current um, to keep the current to those LEDs. Constant, it's a buck style regulator. We've got an inductor there to take the 18 volts of the battery down to probably if these are in uh, parallel, about three-ish volts. If these are in series, then it'll be nine and a bit volts, something like that. But um, yeah, you conceivably you could connect the battery to these connectors the wrong way around. Oh, I'm so tempted to try it. I really am. Well, it's uh, a Union Semiconductor UM1360. It might be another manufacturer. It seems this uh, part number is manufactured by various people. It's a hysteretic buck high brightness LED driver with internal switch. Available in SOT89-5 or SOT23-5. I think this one's a SOT23. Here we go then. Wish me luck. Um, the proper way round, which is that. And you can see the lights light up. And now the improper way round. Wait for the bang. No bang. And the lights light up. But why would you bridge rectify the output from a battery? It's never going to be the wrong way around, is it? Really weird, but well, it works. Let's go even deeper. Oh, and I can't sing, can I? Because that could create copyright issues. So let's remove this heat sink. This heat sink was mildly warm. Let's get this off. Now, there should be some gunk on the back of here. Oh, these screws are different lengths. So, oh, those two are different. No, this is the same as those, I think. And then there's that one. Oh, no. It's a one piece. Ah, it's a sort of, yes, it's a, a chip on board type. Well, it's an aluminium printed circuit board in effect. Um, so it's going to have pads on here, tracks. 
connecting these three LEDs in series and then some sort of coating. Let's see if we can reflect light off it. So I think you can just make out the raised areas here, which are the connecting pads in effect. Now, are these going to be copper? I imagine they probably are, but this is sort of layered, isn't it? It's an aluminium substrate. Then there's going to be some sort of insulator, this copper area, and then something else on top. And uh, we've got another area there, another area down here. So yeah, it's just the LEDs in series. You can see that they're pause, neg, pause, neg. And we've got pause and neg coming in. These look like uh, standard sort of one watt, uh, or maybe even three watt, depends on the power of this thing. Does it say? No, it doesn't say the wattage. Uh, so I can't tell. There's probably a little bit of um, heat compound under there to transfer the heat from the metal back of these LEDs into this heat sink. And uh, I spy yet another ball bearing with almost certainly a spring behind it. And that's for the uh, rotating lens turret thing. So if I rotate that, we can see and hear it click into place. Oh, no. Well, I found the spring. <laughs> Now I've got to go searching for the um, ball bearing, and it's shot over here. Oh, there it is. There it is. And finally, it doesn't really seem totally necessary, but while I'm in here, I might as well do it. Let's take the two screws out, which are holding in the lens arrangement. Because I do like this lens arrangement. Ah, now that will have to go back in the correct way. So the top of the triangle points to the on-off switch. Okay, I think I can remember that. And then here's the... Oh, that comes out. Uh, that's got three detents, one bigger than the other two. So yeah, you can see the six lenses there. Oh, what fun. It's like Top of the Pops all over again. It's pretty much how they did that effect. They just had multiple lenses on a rotating turret and that piece which I'm going to leave in and here you can see the different heights of those lenses three stronger lenses with more hmm, convexiness to them and three weaker lenses but isn't that a fun thing that's the best part of this light the rotating turret Ah, no, I've put the heatsink back and I haven't put the little springy ball bearing thing in there. So that was a pretty comprehensive strip down of this uh, Ozito, Ozito. This is something to do with Australia, isn't it? The Oz bit. Uh, cordless work light with its three super bright LEDs, adjustable light beam and seven lighting angles. Uh, wish me luck putting this back together again. Cheerio.